Morning everybody. Spring's here. All the flowers are coming out. Birds are singing. And made a little garden for our dog that passed away, Kez. Beautiful dog. There we go, done a bit of fence in there. A bit of rustic fencing. I think he'd be happy with that. And they're just starting to drill the field. Farmers over there in the distance. Better than building houses. Anyway, this video, I'm going to be making a, a pole lathe. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Um, yeah, a few things have um, held me back, like my dog passing away, but you know, got me down a bit. Time to move on. Anyway, this piece of wood here, I've got two of these, that's going to make the poppets. That was left over from a roofing job where I was helping my brother, the multitasker. These bits, pieces of wood here come from Paul Docks, courtesy of um, Paul Dennett. I think they're used for bearers to put whatever on steel wood so they can get the strops out. I've picked out two straight ones. That's going to make the bed. Um, yeah, so I'll just film it in stages, see how it goes. I've obviously learnt bits off of YouTube, but you obviously put your own stamp on it. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Righty-o. Let's mark out the bottom tenant on the poppet. Poppet, what a name. I don't know where it comes from. Ten inches. Ooh. Whack the camera on my head. Decent line. Oh, now you're just going to mark the top of that because my eyes, I should go and get my glasses. Right, hold the pencil there. A lot of rubbish on there. Well, I think it's fair. Another little mark there. Just to give you. Hopefully, that joins up. Too bad. Right, flip it on the clean side. Right, this is set at 50 mil. Little line there. Let's turn that round. Right, I'm just going to continue marking that round. This has got to be cut out. That has got to be cut out. Okay, thank you. Right, just finishing off. I found the saw. Just finishing off this first one. Follow your lines. Just a chip right now. Just a 
smidge. There we go. That's the first one. All right, so next, next bit, do the other one of the poppets and um, sort the bed of it, the um, pole leaf out. See you in a bit. Right, said Fred. Right, here's where we're at so far. Clamp these two of the bed together with the right size packer in between so the poppets fit in there snugly and move along. Um, got to sink two coach bolts either side. Can't get them long enough locally, so I'm going to count the sink into there and then they'll be able to do up the other side. So I've got to do, get on with that anyway. Catch you in a bit, it's a bit dark that side. You can see better that side. All right, bye. Right, so that worked out quite well, countersink in the bolts. It means you're not gonna catch yourself when you walk around it. So the next job I'm gonna do is drill the legs in. Mark them out. I'm gonna try and guess them out on a sort of angle to make it more stable when you're using it. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. See if it's still in focus.
Right. I don't. Well, that could have went any better. Tickety boo. What do you think of the show so far? There it is. That got the legs in. I turned a tenant on the. Let me get over here. It's getting a bit dark now. I turned a tenant on the lathe. Just we'll use what you've got. Um, yeah, the legs are too long, but that's fine. I can cut them off. Slid the poppets in. Nice snug. So what's the next job? Um, cut the top of these poppets to the right height. Get some iron mongery. Get them in. Uh, yeah, cut the legs off. Um, got a hole to drill there and that will take the upright for the bungee. I'm not going to do an actual pole. I'm going to have the bungee system. And all this will come undone or come apart and be packed away. So there we go. And we'll catch you in the next clip. Just a tiny smidge more. <laughs> Tickety boo. Right, so that's the first bit of ironmongery done. Probably the most difficult. That line there, I've got to cut that off flush, drill a hole and set that in at the right height. Well, my height, a bit of a guesstimate. And then do the other side, which is just, a, well, let's get out of the sun. It's just a bolt straight through with a point on the end. So that should be relatively easy. Right, so I've cut the top of the um, pop it off. To the required height or my required height drill the hole and place this camera just like so that's in focus right i'm going to put a sim expanding glue plenty of Every time I film, you come out. You didn't do this. Right, now I'm going to insert that down into the hole. Using the threads. There we go. Tickety boo. Right, just need to square that up. Sight it up with the other side. And if I line the camera up, I don't think that's too bad. The actual um, the actual pole leg is on hell of a slope. So, 
I think that'll do. I'm going to sort the other side out now. Thank you. All right, Gypsy. That's a dog's life, isn't it, eh? All right, let's get back to this then. Right. Right. That hasn't quite gone off yet, but when it has gone off, might leave it to Jamal. Tap that with the hammer. Make a mark on the face there. Drill my um, 12mm hole. Push that through. And there we go, it's got the point on there, so hopefully it lines exactly up with that one. That's the plan, anyway. So let's see how we go. Mr. Pheasant escaped the gun. That's nice, isn't it, eh? What a beautiful bird. See how close I can get. I think the wife's been feeding him. There we go, precision work, see? I had to kind of sink that in a little bit, glued it as well. And just tighten it up. Get that set, and that's enough for tonight. There we go, I'll catch you on Saturday, hopefully. Goodbye. Right, welcome back, Saturday morning, lovely day. Right, the next job is to cut these legs off to size. I need this pole over to be about my hip hip height. So I've worked out I've got to cut five inches off, five inch packer, cut it off with the old hand saw. And that's all them done. Then the next job is to make the wedges, two wedges for the poppets. Right, so what I've done here, I've marked underneath there, hold on, underneath there with a pencil on both of them. Um, and then I've just got to cut into there to accept the wedge and that holds them sturdy holds them sturdy when you're turning alright, thank you, catch you in a bit right, I've cut the wedges on the bandsaw that's the mark there what I marked on the underside of the pole lathe, on the poppets hold your wedge on that black line, on the pencil line come round the other side Making sure you've got the wedges the right side so you knock them in from the side you're working. Mark that with a pencil. I'm trying to hold the camera as well. I need a cameraman or woman. Mark that. Do the same the other side. Flip that over that. And wherever that comes on there, that, that has got to come out on both of them okay bye i just want to show you how i've been cutting out for the wedges um that's the square line there off with the wedge up mark the back to the, that's the tapered side of the wedge drill a straight hole through there drill two angle holes matching that line there go through the jigsaw tickety boo Right, I'll just show you the wedges. There you go, there's the hole cut out. Put your wedge the right way around. Push it in. Just give it a tap with it. Right. That is solid. Rock solid. So that's going all right. I'm going to go and get a couple of bits of uh, hazel now to stick in for the uprights to take the bungee. Yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, welcome back. I'm on the shavels now. I made one of my earlier videos. If you wonder why I sound a bit throaty, I've just tested positive for the dreaded COVID, which is a pain. Uh, anyway, this um, bit of hazel is going to um, be one of the uprights to take the um, bungee. Um, so, I can't get it on my lathe too long, so I've got a hole saw here. It's a bit blunt, but...
that's it. Right, I've got my head cam on. Hopefully it's working all right. Ah, you! Oh, just slip my, just slip my finger on that. Sure. Be, be careful. Which I'm not. Didn't realise it was as sharp as that. Right, uh, nothing's going right lately. I'll tell you. Right, just tidy this up with a jaw knife. I made this shave horse earlier. Oh, I've used it quite a lot actually. Yeah, that you can get the idea. Hope somebody can. I bought this at an old uh, steam steam fair. I've got quite a lot of use out of it. I'm in the draw knife. There we go, I'll give you a rough idea, look at that. Stupid boy. Right. There we go. Let's have a look. Take the hat off. There it is. Probably too long, but I can cut that off. I'll do the other side and I'll catch you in a bit. Right, welcome back, Monday morning. Can't go to work because of COVID, but I'm feeling a little bit better anyway. Um, so it's all completed. I didn't film the last stages. Didn't really feel like it actually, but I can talk you through it. So the treadle, bit of 6B1, pinned it to the ground with a few temp pegs. Decent hinge on there. Bit of four by one, just a bit of waste wood. The actual cord is starter cord. I think it's about five mil. Bungee on the top. Ten mil, ten mil bungee you get from Amazon. That's doubled up. Um, I put. A, can you see that four inch nail there? Stop it sl sliding down. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. It actually turned out brilliant. Let me just show you a bit, bit of it in action. Look, it works an absolute dream. Um, made this tool rest. So this is for doing spindle work like this. It's a two and one lathe. You see the bit of timber sticking out there. Basically you undo the bolts, them two bolts, reverse it around, stick it out there and then you can turn bowls. So I haven't seen one like this on YouTube. So I think if anybody wanted to build a pole lathe, you could, these bits here, they're 90 by 90 mil, so you could use an old fence, two old fence posts. You don't need that many tools, really. I know I used the lathe to do that, but you can do that with a hole saw. I've used the ash for legs just to make it a bit more rustic, and I had the wood, so basically, I haven't paid anything for the wood. The only things I've had to pay for is bungee, oh, and the bolts. I'll set all the rest of the stuff I had here. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration of it working. What you've got to remember is I've never used a pole lathe before, but I'm really chuffed with it. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit.
Right, just give you a quick demonstration. Remember this video is not about the turning, it's about making the pole lathe. Well, I think, I know the turn is not very good, but this lathe works a treat. If you had somebody experienced on here, they'd, I think they could make a nice job, but all comes with experience. I'm going to keep on um, practicing and I'm going to have a go at making a turn in a bowl. Anyway, I'll have a little chat with you in a minute. I just want to do a quick thanks to um, Trees of Flowers. She um, gave me this carpenter's bench, lovely voice, and lots of tools. So thanks very much Teresa for that. That's going to come in very handy. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I think this is the first time I've showed me face. Yeah, feeling a little bit better now. I don't know how soon I can go back to work. Um, anyway, I don't care really. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a bit sketchy because I'm really, my head's not really been right. But the end result I'm really chuffed with. So if you watch this and you like it, you know, and you haven't subscribed, go on, please subscribe. Anyway, so probably in my next video I'm gonna um have a go at making a doing a bowl on my um new pole lathe. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Roy Leonard, I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye.